Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to create blocks or how to use blocks in Magenta 2. In the last tutorial, what we've done, we created layouts and this is the layout file we created and then we linked the PHTML template to a block called Magento Framework View Element uh, Template. This is the main or generic block we used in this uh, example. So what we have a result of is this one. So Magento developer, we have the meta title, we have the page title, and then we have the lower merchant text uh, we displayed in the content area. What we are going to do now, we will create a custom block that will display us those uh, properties, the titles and the content. So instead of using this, we will create a custom block and then we use it in here. So first of all, what we need to do is we create a block. This is in a block directory, and then we name it. Uh, my preference is to name it the same as in the uh, controller. So whatever the name in the controller, the block will be created. But this is up to uh, anybody's preference. It's not. It's not something uh, mandatory. So I will create a block layout and then index. Since we have uh, this index needs to be file, so just delete it, then create PHP file index. So this block will be the same as the controller layout index. We have a block called layout index. So first of all, let's declare type and then namespace it as training, training, uh, example, layout example, and then block and layout. So when you come to the, to the block, you will see that this block is relatively linked to this controller. This is a naming convention I follow, but it depends on uh, the organization or developers' preferences. So this is just my preference. Uh, anyway, we move on, creating the class index, and then we'll extend the generic class we have in here. So I'll just copy this and then extend it. I'll just use the short name here, and this is it. This will replace it. So we just copy the full path and place it here uh, without trailing slash. So this will be our template rather than the generic one. So if we go and clear cache, then magento cache flush. We change the layout. The block HTML is changed as well. Uh, let's then refresh and we have the same result the only thing we've done is we created a custom block here and then extended the template and used it in here in the class uh, attribute of the uh, xml attribute the block so this is how we use our custom classes instead of using the generic one why we use this because this will have the responsibility to stand as a layer between the controller and the model. So the model comes with the logic and the block comes with the representation, the rendering uh, stuff on the web page, and then the block. All the stuff that is created on logic and all the code created in the controller will be moved into the block. So the controllers will be shorter and slim rather than we have fat controllers. So this will take the responsibility of the uh, linking the logic and display the correct data between the, the model and the controller. We will see now how we go, how, how are we going to use this. So for example, we have declared this in the, so let's remove this uh, commented code. We used this to display something else but then we override it by the controller here so in this we just have so let's go back here we leave the meta title as is in here so we don't need it to be dynamic and then we remove this from here so the halal maliki is not displayed as the meta title and we will need to remove this and make it the responsibility of the uh, block and not the controller. What are we going to do? To remove this entry, we don't need it. We also remove this entry or this code, this line of code, we don't need it. And then we just return 
the page create so this will be return and that's it so this is what we need and also this is removed and we have nothing here so we want to make sure that is this and this is not displayed so we just clear cache then refresh and now we have this result of layout xml layout xml because we have this here so we are reverting the alal maliki and we removed everything now what we need to do is we follow whatever I have done in magento so for example if we go to the vendor magento and then catalog in the catalog we have the view you can see there is a prepare layout method in this template or this block and there is a code to call the page title dynamically so i will just copy this around just like this and then we will have prepare layout and then we don't need the return here now we have this and then we just put the title the main title magento and that's it so we are going to and then return this so we are going to change the title from the block not from we don't make it the responsibility of the air controller we make it the responsibility of the block now we just remove cache and we refresh and here you go you will see this title as magento developer comes from the block and not from the controller not from the layout file now we need to know the interactivity between the block and the template so here is the block so let's go back here so here is the block you define it with the template content PHTML and this is the content PHTML so let's go out of this as well we need the interactivity between these two uh, components the block and the HTML file PHTML file so the thing is we are going to public function get subtitle generic name then we will make it return as string return this or return learn now we have this but we need to display it we need to display this subtitle underneath magento develop this is easy how we create it is so first of all let's go here and then copy the fill path and in phtml bar, this class are the block and then we will have h2 equals block it subtitle and now we should see so we not have a miss because we have the full page enabled here we go we have learn magento tool development this is because we are displaying whatever set from the uh, the the block this class so this is how we are creating blocks and we add it and configure it from the layout and then display it in the template i think this is it and just to go through it again first of all we create this class extends the template the magento framework view element template and we set the page title here in the prepare layout method and we just add a method called get subtitle in the layout we are specifying here that is our custom block is configured to be the block and it linked to this content phtml file this content phtml file can have access to the block and will we will display the uh, variables or we apply logic or we apply everything we want from this block to this template so we are now simply uh, just displaying the subtitle which is learn magento 2 development and we just get, kept here this in here uh, as well and this is how it worked through this this uh, controller by having the layout file exactly the same layout example layout index and this is layout example layout index if you also inspect the page if you go to the body tag you will have class called layout underscore example dash layout index which means that is the name of the of the uh, action or of the controller the full controller in the in the page uh, 
uh, I think this is it and I will see you in the next uh, tutorial.